Mark Lesko has been with CNA for 17 years, and most of those years have been spent supporting the Federal Aviation Administration. When I first started there in 2000, it was take the data, study it to make things better, make things more efficient for air traffic controllers, make things better for the traveling public, and even to some extent, make things better for the airlines. A research analyst with the Air Traffic Management Division of CNA's Institute for Public Research, Lesko remembers the day his job with the FAA suddenly changed. Then 9-11 came along, and it was take this data, study it, and make things safer. Safer for the traveling public, safer for air traffic controllers, safer for, as they say, high-value targets. Lesko was involved with a number of issues after 9-11. His work included helping to design the flight restriction zone in the D.C. area, analyzing the airspace around high-value targets like nuclear facilities and sporting events, and working with Homeland Security to study potential threats from air cargo operations. Being an analyst at CNA, it's not just good enough to come in and do your job. You're always looking for ways to make things better. CNA is also very good at empowering its employees. Different people have different talents, and the management at CNA can align those talents with the projects that need to get done, whether it's the Navy, Marine Corps, the FAA, or other projects that are for non-DOD clients. Lesko made his decision to work at CNA nearly two decades ago, and he's never looked back. There was a friend of mine in college who was recruited by CNA and uh, he went to work for them and after he had been there for a few months he said, you know what, maybe you should come and check this out. It's a really good opportunity with a really great, great group of people. And uh, I interviewed and uh, I said, this is the place for me.